This, you may remember, is the Fairphone 3 reviewed in Phone Show 386 back in February before the world went mad. Priced at £380, it looks expensive for the specs. A lowly Snapdragon 632 chipset with 4GB of RAM, 64GB storage plus microSD, a single 12 megapixel unstabilised camera, fairly horrible haptics, and a single speaker with a 1080p IPS LCD screen, all screen budget. You'd think this should be £150, £180, i.e. half the price, but that's missing the point. There is a unique selling point here that explains the price, though. You peel the back off, Samsung style, remember the old days? You see a mass of small cross-head screws. The only accessory, in fact, you get in the box with this is, wait for it, a screwdriver. A few minutes with this and the components can all be taken out with your fingers for a pair if needed. All the components are on the Fairphone website or, and here's the point of this video, to upgrade them. Now, we've seen modular phones in the past, but Fairphone is consistently the only company shipping products which fit the bill year in, year out. You'll know I fix it, of course. They dish out scores for repairability. Two out of ten for a Samsung flagship. Four out of ten for an iPhone. Zero out of ten for a Surface Duo. And so on. The Fairphone 3 got 10 out of 10. The only phone they've ever torn down that got this score. In fact, even teardown is misleading since all they had to do was just peel the back off and undo a few crosshead screws with the screwdriver that was in the box. They didn't even need to bring in their toolkit. It's quite impressive. In this case, as a part of the Fairphone 3 Plus launch a few months ago, they announced the only differences in hardware were massively upgraded cameras. And as you'll have realised by now, these camera modules have been designed to fit the Fairphone 3 too. In other words, take this Fairphone 3, put in the two new camera modules front and back, and this will be effectively a Fairphone 3 Plus. If this upgrade sounds a little underwhelming compared to what other manufacturers do with their 100% sealed hard to repair designs, then that's because the vision here is that users hang on to their Fairphones for up to five years with guaranteed OS and security updates for all of that. I'm recording this show on October the 21st, 2020, and the phone is already on October 2020 Android security, of course. So you hang on to the same phone, upgrade or repair modules as needed, keep updating the software, and there's less hardware to bin or recycle. Now, I realise that keeping the same phone for five years isn't typical for a phone show viewer, but the theory is there at least, and maybe your, your partner or family aren't so much of a geek. The Fairphone 3 launched with Android 9, it got Android 10 a few months ago, complete with full screen gestures, which is very nice. And this same phone about to get its imaging upgrade will get Android 11 to next summer. And then, well, who knows after that, but certainly security updates monthly until 2024. These then are the camera upgrade modules, a 48 megapixel quad bayer for the rear and 16 megapixels for the front. You'd expect that the larger sensor and camera housing wouldn't fit an older phone, but Fairphone thought of that and they designed in some leeway into the original modules and their cavities. This fits exactly. And so, as promised, we peel the back off. There's the battery, which can be replaced in seconds with a charged spare. Yes, you can buy batteries on the Fairphone website. Undo the dozen little crosshead screws with the screwdriver provided in the phone box. This is a bit fiddly, but it still takes just a couple of minutes. The display then pushes off with a click. Just in case it was broken and you needed to replace this, it's 90 euros, by the way, again, on the Fairphone site. Now we see the various modules. In each case, you need to undo a couple more screws, then use the reverse spatula end of the included screwdriver to lever off the little ribbon connectors and then lever out the modules themselves. Then you just put in the new modules, reversing the procedure. I was hoping the new top selfie module, which includes the earpiece speaker, might also magically enable stereo speaker sound, but I guess that would have to be handled in software. So what about it, Fairphone A? Eh? Pretty please for Christmas? Display snapped back on, all screws in, back on, it's job done. Time to fire it up and test the new cameras then. See the example photos here. Fairphone doesn't give exact details of the new modules, but helpfully GSM Arena did some digging and the main camera is a newer 48 megapixel 1 over 2.0 optical format affair. The original was a 12 megapixel 1 over 2.5 inch sensor. So nowhere near flagship camera specs, of course, but results are still pretty darn good for a Fairphone and a big upgrade from the original main camera. Zooming is now possible to the usual caveated degree with these quad bear sensors. Times two is OK. 
Video isn't up to flagship quality, it only has mono audio, but hey, it's stabilised. It goes up in resolution to 4K if you need it. Here's a sample at the 1080p off the phone show, at least. So video sample on the upgraded camera modules, the Fairphone 3, now a 3 Plus, of course. A 1080p for my show, but it will go up to 4K. Zooming, uh, this is two times, and this is three times video zoom. Horrible, wet, nasty, cold, rainy day. I'm not going outside in this. Dream on. But um, yeah, video much improved as well with the new sensor. Similarly for the front-facing camera, now a new 16 megapixel sensor that's almost twice the size of the old one. Here are a few selfies with it in portrait mode, all done in software a la the previous generations of Google Pixel. Pretty good. It's not often I show selfie examples on the phone show, but then it's not every day that a phone I've owned for almost a year gets a whole new physical front camera. As to price, Fairphone charges about 80 euros for the pair of modules, or you can just buy the one you want. This all seems fair enough and is a lot cheaper than buying a new phone. Plus, you're supporting a company that goes out of its way to get all its materials from responsible sources, to make everything as recyclable as possible, to pay fair wages for the assembly of this thing, and yes, to keep every phone going as long as technically possible. The Fairphone 3, well, I mean 3 Plus now, with this upgrade, is very average as a piece of computing hardware and phone tech. But for someone who prizes these things, it claws all the brownie points back in the sheer flexibility, repairability and upgradability. Well worth thinking about if you too would like to help save the planet a little at a time and get a warm, fuzzy glow in your heart.